Okay, the first thing to do is to get organised and when we do a systematic review we identify each article by the author's name and the date. So I'm just going to go through here. So this is Dorenzo 2014 and I'm just going to rename each of these. Okay, what we can do now just to get a bit more organised, I've set up two folders, one for inclusion and one for exclusion. So what we can do is just quickly go through and see what's relevant to us or not. So I've already looked at some of these. Um, this looks like a patient study and there looks like there's some genetic um, analysis. So that is an include. Um, again, it says patient study. Just quickly going through. It's got a genetic technique there, so that looks promising. I'm going to pop that one in. Gene nutrient interactions. Yep, yeah, there's genotyping. That one's in. Uh, this clearly says a review, so that's not for our study, but it might be good background reading. So this one says hepatic steatosis, and it's also mouse, so I don't think that's the condition you're interested in and it's rodents. So we can just quickly go through, can't we? And um, this is that big lip gene study. But you know what, I've already looked at this one and this is that part of that same study but they're only looking at biochemistry. So that actually doesn't have any genetic stuff in it for us. And, and likewise, this last one's part of that big study but these are just biomedical outcomes, um, I mean biochemistry outcomes. So that, although relevant to your background and introduction, we are actually going to exclude. 